Guys, we're going up. Ooh, oh yeah, baby. Smell a moon dust. Woo! Hey everyone, this is Darren from Daily Crypto Chasing. It's coming to you live, live, live from Asia, guys. Great time to be live and update, guys. Remember, none of this is financial advice. And remember, the OG in the house is going to Bangkok in about an hour, guys. So if you're in the Bangkok area, do send me a DM on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, and we'll get together and have coffee, guys. So what's going on with crypto right now? We're seeing that uh, Bitcoin right now is uh, down. It's at 68,000, it's down half a percent. We're seeing Ethereum is coming back as well. That's pretty good. Uh, we're seeing that the Doja Wozier is up uh, up almost 0.3%. If you guys can zoom zoom in on that, we can see that Doge uh, is up. So that is pretty good. We're seeing that uh, we're seeing that uh, some of the uh, some of the old coins are uh, uh, starting to turn positive, starting to turn green. That is pretty pretty good out there. And we did see that Dogecoin did go down below uh, 17, it hit as low as 16.5, but it has bounced up, guys. And keep in mind that in over a year, Dogecoin is still up. Dogecoin is still positive. So guys, don't sleep on Dogecoin. I believe that this is a huge time, a great time uh, to be uh, dollar cost averaging into Doge. It, it, it's great, guys. Uh, where's Solana? Solana, Solana, Solana. We also, Solana is down, guys. If you guys don't know that uh, Solana has been having some network outages, uh, it's been really a lot of congestion, and we've seen a lot of congestion happening on the Solana network, and that is because of a lot of the meme coins, guys. So a lot of the meme coins are kind of like uh, like uh, like like killing killing the congestion out there. So that is that is pretty good. So far, if you take a look at what's going on with Doge, we're seeing that Dogecoin right now is up, up uh, 1% on the hourly. It's up uh, 0.7%, uh, if you guys can see that on the daily. But look at the monthly, it's up 10%. Look at the week, look at the yearly, it's up 121%, guys. I'll zoom in, 121%, so that is, that is pretty, that is pretty lovely. That is pretty uh, jubbly, guys. Uh, this is just a casual video because, you know, I'm heading to the airport, uh, like, 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 now, I still gotta, you know, spruce up, get beautiful out there, and the wife is gonna probably come, gonna give me the the look soon. She's gonna be screaming and saying, "Oh no, get ready, get it, get up, stop making videos, stop making videos." Who cares about the community? Get in there. Who cares about the community? Uh, I'm probably gonna get that that conversation, that convo, that convo is gonna be happening soon. So if you take a look at the, if you take if we take a look at the chart uh, for the Bitcoin, this is Bitcoin a chart on the daily. We are seeing that the Bitcoin still is hitting some resistance, sixty nine thousand. But overall, we still have this, you know, this this whole funnel pattern. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna keep going sideways and trend into that and hit that and probably bounce up. Now, keep in mind that 420, we got the freaking halving, guys. The halving, the halving is definitely gonna be happening for the 4, 4, 420. And we're seeing that there's a lot of consolidation happening right now for most of the cryptos. We're seeing that overall. Uh, the volumes are very, very light. But there's some good news on the horizon for Dogecoin. We're gonna be talking about that in a second. Uh, if you take a look at, the, this is Dogecoin, better be Dogecoin, no, it's Ethereum. It's Ethereum, well, let's talk about Ethereum. Ethereum is uh, just going sideways, uh, pretty much in the same uh, trajectory as uh, Bitcoin. It's at 335, 3,335. Uh, I think today's gonna to be a good day for crypto. Uh, if, we take a look at, if we take a look at the returns, we can still see that Bitcoin is down 5% for Q2. Uh, and also Ethereum is down 10% as well. So not, it's not it's not optimal, right? It's not optimal, but everything is still looking A-OK -okay out there. So let's hopefully this is a Dogecoin chart. Yeah, here we go. We got the Dogecoin chart. And it went almost to 16 cents out there. And then we have bounced up. So today is looking pretty good. We're seeing a nice bounce. And we're seeing, if you guys can see here, Doge is still trading in this upward trending funnel. And I think we're getting a little bit of resistance at 18 cents right now. Uh, so we're exactly 18 cents, but we're kind of like in the danger zone at 18 cents for Dogecoin right now. So that is something we need to keep an eye on. But if we can hold above 17 cents, if we can hold above 17 cents for the halving, we're going to be doing very, very good. And remember, every 420, every 420, Elon Musk often comes out and, and says something about Dogecoin. So I believe that he will say something again about Dogecoin, and this will definitely take Dogecoin higher. So if we can stay above 17.5, that will carry us through to the halving. And remember, the Bitcoin halving is on 420, guys. So keep that in freaking mind. So that is important that if we can keep this level, this level of support, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be humongous. It's gonna be absolutely humongous for us out there, guys. You know, it seems that 
the OG is getting some influence because we're seeing other YouTubers starting to use my stuff now. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was kind of cool. I kind of found that today. And like I said, right now, we need to see that uh, Bitcoin right now is, uh, not Bitcoin, Dogecoin is above 17, 17 seven out there. So that is pretty good. And we're just, we're just below our 18 cent level, guys. So we need to keep this level. We need to keep this level happening. And like I said, if we can see this level continuing, continuing till after, after the 420, we're going to be going up. So I came across this, guys, and I asked Grok, can I send Dogecoin on X? And Grok, Grok came on and said this, yes, you can send and receive Dogecoin on X. X supports Dogecoin transactions and allows you to store and send and receive Dogecoin using the platform. And then the Grok kind of goes into the whole explanation of how you can actually do that. So. I believe that this is a foretelling of the future for Dogecoin and go to my Twitter, read the post. You guys are going to love it. And, you know, a lot of people saying, well, no, it's not, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Uh, that in fact, uh, you know, it's not true, but here's another post. I asked, Hey, Dogecoin family, this is good news. And take a look at this. This is talking about Dogecoin radio and Grok said, SpaceX is launching Dogecoin nodes into space attached to Starlink satellites to extend the reach of Dogecoin okay, uh, network to, re to remote regions where traditional internet infrastructure is not available. So remember the Dogecoin radio initiative that we have been talking about for a very, very long time? Well, it looks like it's here and Grok is saying it's going to happen. So if this happens, this will also be another catalyst for Dogecoin and this will send Dogecoin higher and higher guys. So yeah, it, it, it's good, it's good freaking news. Also, we got this happening. Uh, looks like uh, something else happened. Looks like Dogecoin down 50% on the week, but whale activity uh, is looking pretty fantastic. So we're seeing a lot of whale activity, even though Dogecoin is down, we're seeing a ton of activity, a ton, a ton of uh, Dogecoin activity. And you can see here in this post from uh, Trader, Trader uh, Tardigran, uh, I remember he's not he's not a lightweight out there. He's absolutely not a lightweight out there. So what he's saying is, uh, Doge signals with bullish crossover and MACD. This is the same signal just before just before Doge spikes to all time high. Doge day is coming. So we're seeing we have these patterns. You know, bullish recovery. We have consolidation. Then we have a peak. Right. Then we have a downtrend of a bullish. Uh, we have a consolidation, uptrend, consolidation, downtrend, and then a big peak. So according to according to Trader Tardigran, look, listen, this is to all the people that are gonna troll me on this one. Trader Tardigran, okay? He's saying that we are here and we could easily see six dollars, uh, you know, a dollar. And he's he's picked it out 11 bucks, guys. So I am making this stuff up, okay? And Trader Tardigran, uh, he's he's not a lightweight, okay? So he's a big TA guy, he's jumping on the bandwagon, he's jumping jumping on the doji doji bang wagon guys so yeah it's absolutely a freaking great time to be alive guys so you know other stuff that's coming out as well we've got uh, uh dogecoin finds bottom how the seven year cycle so i talked about the seven year cycle how uh you know trader target is saying that we can see a 40 dollar doge okay so i am making this i am making this stuff up this ain't hard probably we're also seeing that the the mvr ratio turns negative uh what does that mean for doge well the mvr is about the sentiment uh, of Doge, we're seeing the sentiment is down right now. So it's not a big deal, guys. We're still looking very, very lovely jubbly. And I believe that the price price right now for Doge is, is looking pretty good, guys. So guys, yeah, Doge to one freaking dollar. Doge to one dollar soon. It's that simple. We've got, we've got, we've got Starling, Doge Radio. We've got 420 coming. We've got integration. We've got the freaking integration uh, into into the Twitter platform. We got so much, so much goodness, guys. Guys, all I gotta do is freaking send it, guys. Send it. Dogecoin is coming for you. Dogecoin is coming for everybody. It's just a matter of time, guys. And I, I thought this was good, guys. Dogecoin goes good with beers. Who doesn't like beer with Dogecoin? Like, come on. It's who doesn't who doesn't love it? I love it. You love it, guys. And guys, once again, as I said. Dogecoin, ex favorite Dogecoin, it will freaking change everything out there. It will freaking change everything. Trust me, it's gonna be lovely, jubbly. We're seeing the fear and greed right now for Doge. It's around about 65, not too shabby, not too shabby out there. Uh, we're seeing that, uh, you know, soon this will be the payment option for the world. Can you guess which crypto? 
Of course, it's going to be Doge, guys. Of course, it's going to be Doge. And I, I talked about some price predictions here. Let you guys hope you can see that. Uh, targets the next 12 months. Uh, I'm thinking BTC, uh, BTC 100 to 250K, Ethereum 8 to 15K, BNB 9,000. Uh, 900 to 1400 uh, Solana 450 to 650 XRP 3 to 5 Doge a buck Avalanche 150 to 300 and Pepe Pepe uh, 0001 out there guys so yeah it's coming it's coming it's a matter of time time to do to do time time what else we got for Doge Doge guys out there we got uh, pizza being offered for Doge so guys it's just a matter of time for the Doge What's your next move? Well, the next move for Doge is to a dollar, guys. So that's gonna bring this crazy, wacky, weird video. I'll try to do a new setup, uh, so, something different, something fast out there, guys. So it's a beautiful day. Look where I am. Uh, I'm about to, about to get on the flight, head to Bangkok. In case you're wondering, from where I am now to Bangkok, it's one hour and 15 minutes, okay? And it is, fa it is actually cheaper to fly from Da Nang to Bangkok than it is to fly from uh, Da Nang to Ho Chi Minh City. Go figure that one. Domestic flights are more expensive than international flights. Go freaking figure, guys. I'll see you in the freaking next one. It's a great time to be alive. Bye.